Racing at Flemington and Scone on the weekend. At Flemington, there's a free ticket into the Melbourne Cup and the Andrew Ramsden. We won't sort of get to the tips in the race, but had White Marlin not lost last start, be prohibitive odds to win this race. I'm surprised we're getting $2.30, to be honest, Matty. He, yeah. he is my best bet on the card, okay. White Marlin. Uh, I'm just forgiving that run last start. He was he's coming back in trip off a heavy track run. I uh, was giving the winner six and a half kilos. Look, second up, he probably wasn't you know, at his peak. I think third up with a Melbourne Cup start on the line. He'll be absolutely cherry ripe for this. This is the race he's been set for. So I think he'll go forward and take a hell of a lot of catching. Shark? Uh, yeah, super hard to beat. Just uh, I'll probably save on him in the race, but I think Luna Flair is airborne. She just hasn't been at a suitable trip. She comes out of the Easter Cup where she was running on well late. Really good weight swing on White Marlin out of that race. So I think as a two by three each way play, she'll be my bet and I'll be saving to cover my backside with White Marlin. Come to your best bets at Scone in a minute, but you've got your best bet is White Marlin. What about your next best and your value at Flemington? Yeah, next best, I had uh, race five, number two, Lethal Thoughts, but it's also accepted for Adelaide, so we're not mm. sure exactly where it's going yet. But I just think all three runs back have been excellent and uh, beat Dashing last time. And then we saw Dashing come out and win well last start. So I really like that form. Shin should settle in the first four or five from that inside gate. Uh, if Lethal Thoughts does go to Adelaide, uh, I think Altivo race four, number 17, uh, elevates the next best. Just airborne at the moment, three from three, yep. and this isn't a tough race. And the value on the card, I think, is race three, number 13, Arc Tika. There's been a little bit of early money already, but we're still getting around double figures. I was pretty keen to take on the fave, uh, party for one. Talent's there, but it's won one from 18 and misses the start just about every and time. And it always it flies around. home. Yeah, yeah, it flies home, so yeah. sucks punters in. But Arctica, on the other hand, it'll go forward. A uh, thousand metre jump out was good. I like that they're kicking off at 1400. All its best runs have been at 1400. So it uh, suggests to me that it's ready to go first up. My best bet at Flemington is uh, down the straight. It's Jumbuck, two for two down the straight, race six, number four. Likes a soft track. Uh, got good form around it. Beat Outlaws Revenge, who come out to win the Wongoom, and uh, beat Sessions Road last time, who came out and won last start. My value bet is race five, number seven, Star Vega. Just had the two starts for a win and a second, both on soft. Third up, ready to peak here. Goes down to 54 kilos, and Michael D is in the saddle. And we know where Michael D is going. That's Flemington. We go to you, you're our scone man. To, gee, it's a tough. Tough very day. tough, very, Real very tough. tough. Yeah, a little bit of rain around too. I reckon the track will be in that soft range, so uh, just planning for that anyway. I thought the best, we were with him at Hawkesbury, Malkovich. I think race five, number yep. two, Malkovich can go and get the job done again. Gelded, jump well, led all the way at Hawkesbury. Uh, was there to be beaten, they couldn't run him down. I think second up, he'll be better again. Uh, next best is probably race six, number eight, unspoken for, for Paul and Peter Snowden. Mm -hmm. This horse is an import. First up run was great. Uh, over a shorter trip. Then last start was just starting to blend into things when a big uh, run closed on it, got knocked over, got to the outside and picked itself up, hit the line well. I thought it was a super run. And then we're off to the Dark Jewel uh, race number nine. Uh, fine point for Chris Waller. Yep. It was on a real wet track last time, a really wet track. I think if this is around the soft five range, uh, fine points are a great each way chance at about $9. Drawn well, will go forward. Uh, hard to beat there. All right, my best at Scone is in race six. It's number five, Estadio Mastala. It's really only had the, the one bad run. It was a good return behind Palmetto. Palmetto came out and won the coast, so there's good form there. Comes back from a benchmark 88 to a benchmark 78. And my value bet is race seven, number 11, Penthouse. What I'm going to do is when I win, I'm going to get a, a McLaren craned up to my penthouse and chucked in there for worth about three million bucks. But it won well first up, uh, although it was only a highway, but it ran a very, really good competitive time. And I think dropping in weight has one second uh, up before and is two for two on a, a soft track, a soft uh, surface. So uh, penthouse, Beautiful. which used to be a magazine and now it's a horse. Well, that's okay too. Yep. Yeah. You didn't know where I was going with that? No, neither I didn't. did I. <laughs> Lammy, as always, thanks for lines. <laughs> yep, good to be here, Matty. Happy punting on the weekend. You too, as always. Good on you, Matty. Good yep. luck. Good luck in the penthouse. Thank you. And thanks for joining us. So keep an eye on our socials because uh, you'll have the perm, the, the multi from Shark, and it keeps winning. You're making money there. And we'll also have a quaddy. And James has got me to put one in the first leg at a bit of value. Keep an eye out. You know it's a better betting app when you've got stats and insights for every major game and race. Plus expert opinions from the best minds in the game, all in the palm of your hand. That's better. Chances are you're about to lose.